Hi, I'm Terry Pinner. I'm Dan Weimer. And we are Simply Seymour. Hey, Dan, wasn't that a great festival for the 50th Apple Festival this year? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Terry, it was a, a phenomenal festival. We had, I think, record crowds, crowds yeah. uh, record weather. The weather uh, was amazing. The, Couldn't the be better. food vendors we've ever had. Um, entertainment was outstanding. Phenomenal. Everything was awesome. I mean, like, perfect. Yeah. Um, speaking of entertainment... Wasn't members only just like phenomenal? They were good. They, uh, I've never seen a crowd on the infield of the square like we had for Friday night. It was so thick that you, if you didn't walk down the, uh, the sidewalk pass, you just couldn't get through. There was no room. Uh, uh, I don't know how many people there were. I, I would estimate 10,000 plus. It was amazing. Yeah. I mean, absolutely amazing. And I heard through the rumor mill, you know how those rumors go. Um, I heard some exciting news about members only. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Members only. Uh, they're going to be back in Seymour. And uh, they come to town at the Owen Theater, the historic Owen Theater on the south side of the square on Saturday, November 5th. Uh, they'll play a uh, two-hour concert beginning at 7 o'clock. And the tickets for that event will be going on sale next Wednesday the uh, 28th of September. And for season ticket holders, they've got a, a deadline that's arriving uh, here tomorrow, actually, at 5 o'clock on Wednesday. So if you're a season ticket holder, you got to let us know by tomorrow at 5, or uh, we're going to release those tickets. And I'm sure when we put them on sale um, next they're gonna week. They're going to sell the, out the, like crazy. They're going to sell out. I, I, I really do think we'll, we'll sell them out maybe in a day. If not, uh, certainly a week because we we only have 168 seats, and uh, the desire to to get the tickets is extremely high for that concert. Well, I think they'll sell out in a day, no doubt about it. I yeah. mean, how often are you going to get a private, basically, concert with members only? Yeah, and it, they get to meet them too. They right? do. They'll get to meet band members. It's a uh, it's a um, uh, it's a yeah, it is a private concert in a small venue, and uh, you know. Forty dollars is the cost. That's what a ticket runs, uh, which I think is an unbelievably affordable price. Most of the time, when you're looking at private concerts at people's homes or in small venues, uh, the price for these type of things is, is twice as high. So again, uh, it's a bang for your buck on, on on top of the fact you get to see members only. Exactly, and. Another thing with members only, they're going to be back at the festival next year too, right? Yeah, we got them booked. The, we we initially thought we had them on Saturday for next year, and and uh, uh, but they already had a date uh, booked in the Kansas City area. But we do have them for Friday again next year. So we're going to have Princess Crowning and members only again on Friday. That'll be awesome. Can't wait. Um, how many corn dogs did you eat, Dan? A lot. Uh, I probably went through um, a half dozen. Uh, the bigger problem I have are those uh, apple slushes, and of course I'm diabetic, and that's not very smart. <laughs> yeah, that's not real smart. But, uh, is it? Yeah, I, I go through my weight in apple slushes. Yeah. I, I think those are the best value at the festival. Quite. I frankly. know a dollar. They're a buck. Yeah. And, or if you get the if you got one of those refillable two dollars, two bucks. And, I know. And that's another thing. For next year's festival, we promise people we will have, we'll the have mugs. more mugs. Yeah. We, uh, we we didn't have mugs this year, and uh, we will have them next year. We and, will. And I'm sure we'll do them when we sell them. You get your first fill free. Oh, of course. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things, too, um, we had a few requests for the T-shirts. We sold out. We ordered way more T-shirts than we normally do. But we sold out of the T-shirts, and we're doing an advanced order. If you'll go on the Seymour Apple Festival uh, Facebook page, there's a link on there that you can order those. That'll go through Monday the 26th. After that, the 50th T-shirts. They're gone forever. So uh, go ahead and get those. My favorite thing at the festival, I love Beverly's caramel apples with oh. the nuts and the chocolate chips. That caramel, oh my gosh. That's good stuff. It melts those chocolate chips and it's like heaven. And then <laughs> I love those curly fries. I could just eat those curly fries over and over. Cur curly fries are, are really good. Uh, the We had the new fish guy this year. Yeah, he did uh, great. I heard nothing but, but, but compliments about that. Uh, 
again, we, we expanded the option for food. It did not damage any of our existing food vendors. No. As a matter of fact, it, it did slow down, at least to some degree, the weights in line. I heard the corn dogs, like, sometimes we're like an hour and a yeah. half on Saturday, which, you know, we're still working on that one. But the barbecue beef and the pork was awesome. Yep. Um, they did a great job. And, of course, we had our 50th uh, David Michael, he had cooked chicken for 50 yep. years in there, which is amazing. And then led our parade. Yes, led our parade. So that was fantastic. But don't forget to get your members only tickets. Um, yep. If you've got the um, season pass, call them and get uh, that yep. taken care of. So It's real easy. Call the uh, Webster County Citizen Office of 935-2257. That's the easiest way to do it. That's also the best way to get your tickets. We can do credit cards, cash check. Uh, but the hub for the tickets is the citizen office over on the west side of the square. Have a great day. Thanks.